Well, I came into the woods to uh, hopefully replicate a little bit of what this trail that we did for this next part of the vacation to the Rocky Mountains in 2019 with my family story would be about. And uh, got back here and everything's covered in water. So not the most ideal conditions for filming in the woods, but here we are anyways. This was probably my favorite trail. Um, it's the one we did on like our fifth, fourth or fifth day there. And uh, it's called Lily, Lily Lake. It was my favorite for a few reasons. One, when we got there, it literally looked like a park that was like near our house where it's Northwest Ohio. And so it's like completely flat. There was the Lily Lake, but around the Lily Lake, it was like literally just a trail around that. And we were like, we literally could have done this in Ohio. So that wasn't ideal. But then when we got there, the lady, there was like a ranger there and she was like, yeah, there's like two options. You can either do this 0.7 mile one, which we were like, we drove all the way here to do a 0.7 mile trail. No, thank you. Or you can do like the, I forget, maybe 1.4 or something miles. So a little bit better. So we were like, well, we'll do that one because obviously that sounds way more exciting. The other reason it was my favorite trail is because we didn't really have anything else planned for that day just due to the fact that we had to go farther out of our way to get to that trail so there really was no rush when we were doing it and there's a lot of like rocks and stuff that we could climb on which if you watched my last video wait nope this side if you watched my last video then uh, you would know that's like our favorite thing to do is just climb on boulders and rocks and stuff so those were the two reasons why it was my favorite while we were there, we were hiking, we were like, why is it snowing? There was literally snow coming down. It did not feel like it was 32 degrees or less. It felt like pretty warm for snowing weather. So, I mean, like it was nice that it snowed, but didn't feel like it should have been snowing at that point in time. But it did end up uh, making some nice pictures. We eventually got to a place on the trail where we could like see the lake and mountains behind it, which I guess was kind of the whole thing, but it was from up above and so it looked pretty cool and I was able to get my new profile picture there. Well, actually no, not really a profile picture, like a full body shot profile type thing. And also when we were uh, hiking along there was a pretty good spot where we climbed up pretty high like a lot of them were just like a few boulders tall I don't know what the correct terminology is like 20 feet or something this one was more like a bigger slope slash tiny mountain on the side of a mountain anyways it was a bigger climb and so my siblings and I and my dad were up there and we were climbing and then all of a sudden my brother Nathan yells out he's like oh, an elk and then we all look down and we're like no man that's a moose because like all around that area in Estes Park and the Rocky Mountains are like elk galore, like hundreds, thousands, I wouldn't say millions, but a large sum of elk are around the area, but there aren't as many moose. And we were talking to the lady down, the little, the ranger down at the little station. She was saying like, yeah, there was a moose sighting here like four or five days ago. So we were like, oh, well, they're probably moved out by now. But then we got to see one. It didn't have the antlers, because it was like a baby, and I think it was a female. So it was a female, younger moose. But it's still really cool to see. We kind of like leapfrogged down the trail. At this point, my mom had the camera, and so I'm trying to like whisper how to use the camera down to her. She did get like one good picture, I think. As you can see in this video, I'm just kind of like sneaking down towards it to try to get closer. We ended up just basically chasing a moose down the trail for, I don't know, maybe like a half mile. We just kind of boomeranged back and forth and then we eventually lost track of it. More so we lost interest because we had been following it for so long. But we ended up getting a lot of video just mainly because it was such a highlight of our trip. After we saw the moose initially, my dad and I decided to finish climbing that larger thing. 
without my siblings because we didn't make it all the way to the top like we wanted uh, due to the moose sighting. Um, but we just wanted to do it quickly since we had already wasted a lot of time following this moose. So we ended up doing that and then my dad got this video for us. All right, did a quick little jaunt. I had to kind of hike to the top of this little thing that we're on. Do a 360 view. Technically there's Woo! more to climb over there, but it's a little off the beaten path. And I'm not sure how far away everybody is. So I think we gotta get back on the trail soon. Right? Probably. All right. Let's go. So I hope that you will subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified when I post part three of this multi-part series. And until then, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, watch this footage my dad took because apparently he thought the birds here were pretty interesting because he took a lot of videos of them.